BuzzFeed. Woo! Everyone loves BuzzFeed. BuzzFeed is one of the most successful YouTube channels in general. And the main reason why is because they mass produce content. They have so many goddamn channels and they really try to capitalize on specific video topics to get as many views as possible. And I don't really blame them. Most of their videos are actually all right. Like they have kind of good principles. Like most of the ideas are actually quite unique and somewhat interesting to specific people. Not normally me. The people in these BuzzFeed videos don't seem to be as bad as they used to be. I remember when I last watched BuzzFeed about a year ago, a lot of the people in the videos seem to be insane feminists. But it seems that that's actually changed somewhat. Uh, admittedly, I've not looked at many of their videos now. Now, but uh, hopefully that's changed. That's what I'm hoping for. Uh, but some of their video ideas are very bad, okay? And some of their videos are very sad. <laughs> I saw this video <laughs> titled How Anime Changed My Life. I think that's actually the saddest video title I think I've ever read. <laughs> anime is one of the saddest things, in my opinion. And not because it's uh, Japanese or because I'm a racist or whatever, but instead because it's just, it's fake, it's not real, it doesn't mean anything. That's how I see it. I don't think watching anime is particularly great simply because you're just watching an alternate reality. You're just watching a cartoon and it's just not good. I imagine everyone who watches anime just lies down on their computer at night uh, like three in the morning watching it with a dick out and going for it. That's how I imagine uh, anime viewers. Obviously, that's not correct. Be sure to leave me a like if you enjoyed this video. Subscribe if you're new. We're going to watch some of these videos. I say some of them, probably two of them. So let's choose a couple of videos for me to watch. They have a lot of channels. Didn't they used to have like BuzzFeed Yellow, BuzzFeed Green? Okay, I didn't realize that their channels were divided like this nowadays. Because they have the blue one, but they don't have like the BuzzFeed Yellow. What, what happened to this? Jesus Christ. Ladylike? Oh god, it's this one. This is the channel I hate. I, I don't actually hate women, believe it or not. It's pretty crazy. <laughs> I, I'm all for equal rights between genders. All 150 genders, that is. But these videos are extremely feminine. These videos are too feminine for my liking. So we're going to watch a couple of them. Specifically from the Ladylike channel. Because it, this seems like a good channel, right? Haha. <laughs> We gave high schoolers their dream prom makeovers. I remember prom in year 11. I hated it. I made a video on it. And because the prom was arranged by a lot of students as well, the popular kids, they all got so angry at me. And I think they all hate me now to this day. That's pretty good. Um, so this video is going to just trigger some Vietnam flashbacks. How many views did that video get? I wonder. One of the awards. Jesus. 15,000. Oh my god, that's a lot. Firstly, I don't see why people dream about their prom makeovers. I just find that sad. Like, I think people nowadays are so obsessed with what they look like. Like, seriously, dreaming about what you look like at prom? That seems a bit stupid to me. Or what they want to look like, may I say. Ah, prom. A time for dresses we now regret. Hairspray that took weeks to get out. Dancing with your crush. And having great memories that'll last a lifetime. It's Ladylike, and today we're reliving the glory days and giving four deserving high school students their dream prom makeover. I'm really hungry filming this video, by the way. Dinner is in the oven, guys, but I've got to wait. So if I get angry, baby that's why. And baby Chantel. Doing their work. We're doing it. My name is Angie Damien. My name is Samaria Ramirez. My name is Karen Arenas. My name is Jeff. <laughs> that's such a good joke, Cameron. Well done. These students were first brought to our attention when they made dresses using geometry, which is wild. In this class, we start with simple art pieces and we applied elements of geometry. When they get to be more confident doing things, they have more ideas. I hate to be a party pooper or whatever, but these dresses are so impractical. Like, what happens if a guy's trying to, you know, um, you know, like if you're walking down the street and like a guy comes and tries to, like, how are you gonna escape if you're wearing that? I mean, of course, it's not your fault for that scenario, but I'm just saying, like, it's impractical. Like, how are you going to go outside when it rains? Why don't I mention that point instead? But you, but you know what I mean. Like, it's an impractical dress. It, it has a good idea behind it, but it's impractical as a dress. So United Way connected them with us, and now we're here. Wow, I love the finger motions. Women are good with their fingers. That's what I've learned. Together as 
My regular style is just whatever's comfortable like this sweater's not very stylish. Yes! God bless this woman. I like her straight away. I don't like the hair color. Right, okay, can I just be nice for once? Right. I want to talk about something. I like it how she just wears whatever feels comfortable. That's why people should wear clothes. They, they shouldn't wear clothes to look sexy or look, I don't know, acceptable in society. Like, that's ridiculous. Like, for me, personally, it, I, I prefer women when they wear, like, baggier clothes rather than really tight clothes because it makes most of your body look good, but some of your body, like, really bad. <laughs> <laughs> it's better just to wear what you find comfortable rather than something that looks amazing. I, j I just don't see why people obsess so much with looking nice rather than actually feeling comfortable and wearing a fit. Just be comfortable or go outside and play sometimes. Either sweats, jeans, tights, shorts, tank shoes. Don't these people live in LA? I presume it is. Surely it's like really hot. How are you wearing a sweater? I overheat so flipping quickly. I'm like one of the hottest guys, you know. In many ways, that is. I can't even wear a sweater when it's like autumn in the UK. What, when it's like 15 degrees? What? How are they wearing a sweater when it's like 30? Hi, I'm Sarah. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Oh my god, her voice. Hi, my name's Sabrina. Nice to meet you. Jesus Christ. Nice to meet you, Samaria. Have a seat. Are you excited? Tonight's the big night. Yeah. Tell me what you want to do with your hair. This is just really sad because they're going to dress them up. But then they're not actually going to prom, are they? Oh, they're, they're doing like a mock prom. That's pretty cool. Okay. Our goal as a team is to empower women to make them feel confident. Empower women to feel confident. Hi, everybody. Hey, how's how it going? Okay, the the laughing, the voices all together are starting to irritate me now. Oh, now they're putting makeup on. You know, we've got to get that false beauty in there. Woo! Excited for prom? Yes, I am. So you're going to prom today, the big day? Yeah. Are you excited? Yeah. What color are you going to This is so cringy. Like, why are they trying to make it this authentic? Like, they're not kids. Like, they know that they're not actually going to prom. It's just awkward. Red. Okay, we're just going to skip to them at the prom. I think it's really easy to look at women in, like, red carpet situations and be like, I could never have that hair. But you know what? A little bit of elbow grease. <laughs> it's right there. You have Do people really care about, like, hair? Tiny hand problems. Oh my god, this video is very relatable to me. A fun fact uh, about me. I have the biggest goddamn hands ever. Like, I genuinely have such big hands. I don't know anyone who has big hands to me except for one guy who sits next to me in physics. And he is really, like, tall anyway. So, it's not normal. I have abnormally large hands for my height. Okay, hold on. Tiny hand problems. This is very relatable to me and probably relatable to you. Oh, is this just a comedy video? Oh, God, I can't even be bothered to watch this. Because BuzzFeed, they're just not funny. Like, look how funny this is. Haha, <laughs> 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 that's so funny, you can't open the fridge. Haha! <laughs> <laughs> you live in America, though, so you're probably fat, so it's probably for the best. Right. Wow, this was a great reaction video today. BuzzFeed, fantastic content like usual. They've improved, I think, which is good. Uh, but, I mean, they had to have improved. Did you see what their content used to be like? Oh my god. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, leave me a like. Subscribe to the channel if you're new today. And I'll be seeing you guys later. Goodbye.